the ETUI organized a workshop on scenario building with top academics from different universities across Europe on the topic of digital economy towards 2030. We chose the scenario methodology because this allows us to think in a different way towards different alternatives that we want to reach in the future. This five scenarios, maybe the title will talk too much in itself, but are called Dancing with Mis Miscellany, it's a kind of nationalist scenario. The second one is Virtuous Regulation, where uh, the regulation really enhances the social regulation within all the companies. A third scenario, which is the, um, the Wild West world, which is a market scenario where it's ruled by the market without much regulation, on the contrary of the second one. And a fourth scenario called peer-to-peer, -peer, where people really uh, are more into individual working with the a big success of freelancers and innovators, but it's really a two-level scenario for the workers. And finally, the fifth scenario is better job in autonomous work. We took this notion of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, distribution and peer-to-peer -peer, uh, production to its logical extreme. We really tried to think, okay, if this, is a, if this is embraced, what gave rise to it, first of all? Why would this become a notion that could be widely embraced and, and move a bit beyond kind of boutique local communities? We placed this peer-to-peer uh, -peer network in a framework of crisis. Uh, we look around the world and we see environmental crises on the horizon, and, and um, immigration crises, housing crises, financial crises, and we really said, okay, in the wake of all of that, what happens here? People begin to think that they can do this better than the state can. They can do this better than large social institutions. And it's important to say here that mistrust is very high. In the wake of all these crises, individuals and large institutions begin to think that there's a new way to do business. We are confronted as trade unions with um, corporations that operate at global level, at very large scale. And in order to be able to compete and to um, oppose efficiently this corporate power, we need to upscale all the tools that we are currently working with. And so the, in, in the scenario anyway, the idea is to have um, large-scale social regulation, large-scale fiscal regulation and taxation, uh, large-scale collective bargaining. I mean, all this that is being done at national level, to have it at European level, at global level, uh, in order basically to match the scale at which corporations operate and in order to avoid having corporations playing these smaller players against each other. In our group, the idea was a soft and sneakily introduced techno-fascist regime in which after a range of severe disruptions, financial crises, terrorist attacks, technical collapses maybe, European societies remain invested in digital technologies, giving a lot of power to the, the companies running these technologies and platforms. So we are getting an alliance of authoritarian states, or increasingly authoritarian states, high-tech companies selling both high security, tight control, and bread and circuses for the people.